So today I want to cover a couple of other tools that you can use to draw. So we've done a lot with the shape tools, but the pencil tool will allow you to create paths wherever you move your mouse. So I can make this shape, it automatically puts in the anchor points. So don't worry if you don't get it exactly right. You can go back and you can move the anchor points where you want them. You can take off individual anchor points if it really wasn't what you wanted. So very, very easy to manipulate it after the fact. Now, if I select this, you'll notice that it has a one point stroke, but as it is here, we've got no fill. Now it's very important to realize this is still a shape, it's just not closed in. And if I create a fill, it's gonna go from the first to the last anchor point and just fill it in. And that's a lot different than having a complete shape. If you wanna continue the shape, you can use the pencil tool. You just have to have it selected in a way that you can see the anchor point. If you do that, it will continue drawing from there. And notice it's continuing to close it in. So if I do that, control Z, that didn't go so well. Um, I can bring it over and then it's a completed shape. That means that I can apply a gradient to it. If you cannot apply a gradient to the object that you've selected, then it isn't a shape with a fill. Um, this is the problem that we get from students is you'll use the pencil tool or the brush tool um, I can go ahead and start drawing and I've got a fill. We may even make this stroke a lot larger. And so what I see students doing is just using the pencil tool and treating it like it's paint or Photoshop and they're just trying to fill in the pixels. But this is very difficult for Illustrator to draw and we can't change it to a fill. We can't add a fill color to it. So you don't want to use the pencil tool or even the brush tool to simply paint stuff in. When you hit control A and we can see all of the anchor points that are in your design, this is not what I want to see. Uh, including with the paintbrush, you can make a paintbrush pretty big and fill in a big area very, very easily um, so that you can get a particular shape. Let's say I'm going to make a heart shape here. and then you fill it in. This is what you're used to doing, but it is not how we're gonna do it in Illustrator. Because as I said, I hit Control A, it's drawing that path. And if I wanna make that fill, it simply won't work. Let me show you the other tool that's gonna to make it just as easy to draw. It's the Blob Brush Tool. So the Blob Brush Tool, you can make it pretty large and you can draw your shape and you can scribble around and you can fill it in. Uh, with much the same technique, except what you're left with is a shape with a fill that we can then change to a red heart and we can do gradients. We can change it so that there's a black stroke around it and increase the size of that stroke. Um, this is the way that these shapes need to be drawn. It is difficult to change them after the fact. So draw them right from the get go. Um, you see that there are a lot of anchor points here. If you want to have fewer anchor points and simplify the shape, we actually have an object path command for that. So if you hit simplify, it went and found the minimum number of anchor points that it needed to make that same shape. Let me control Z undo. So it's the same shape. We just have a lot fewer anchor points. Very, very helpful. Let me do object, path, and simplify again. Sometimes we want to have more anchor points. I've shown you how to add them individually, but we can also have the object path command to add anchor points. And it simply, simply puts an anchor point in between the ones that are there. So you can complicate it on purpose so that you have more anchor points to be able to manipulate the line and do crazy things like um, the effects that we have. So we've got the distort and transform. Uh, we can use pucker and bloat and we can make this go outward with little curvy sharp points or the other direction. Um, and really it's the, the stroke here that's gonna make this change so much. So let me go to a smaller stroke. 
And the path is still there. It's using the path. So I can turn right back around and simplify that shape, removes as many of those anchor points as it can. And then we can even still manipulate these anchor points in the path. And it just applies that effect to whatever it is that we've changed.